Hey everyone, Mone. Our very first Eon Next EV home charger installation. Oh, I'm so excited, are you? Looking forward to it. I have no yeah. idea how we're going to do it, but I guess we'll learn. Yeah, but first we need to get suited and booted yes. properly. Hi guys, I'm Luke, one of the Net Zero installers from Eon Next. Nice to see you. We've got customers today with their first uh, EV charger. Ready to go? Let's Ready do it. Let's go. go. Hello, Hello there. My name is Luke. I'm one of the Net Zero installers at Eon Next. Hello, Luke. This Hi. is Molly and Kevin. Hello, Molly. Nice to meet you. They're one of our uh, Veloce Eon Next racing drivers, and they're here to give us a helping hand today. Okay, lovely. Would you like to come in? Awesome. Sure. Thank you. Why did you choose to switch to an electric car? Um, I chose the electric car um, due to the environment, really. I just wanted to make sure that um, I'm doing my bit for, for the ecosystem. Yeah, so we race an electric SUV around the affected climate places around the world, and okay. we go head to head in some extremely versatile places, uh, racing the electric vehicle that we, yeah. that we transport on, uh, on a sustainable way around the world. So you're actually racing drivers, though? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. We race. I mean, both of us started in in rally and rallycross in in petrol cars, and and yeah. now doing a lot of racing in EV cars. So we kind of have been through the transition so you, you on a as well, racing. Right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So we're not the installers. No. <laughs> Trust you, us. Might, you might think. <laughs> we, but, we're going to give know. it a go today, but we have some professionals, thankfully, yeah. from me on next to uh, help us yeah. uh, show us how to do it properly. Okay. Now the customer's happy. What we're going to do is we're going to do some testing. So let's go. Cool. So one of the first checks we have to do at every install is to check the consumer unit and make sure that there's space for where our independent EV consumer unit is going to go. And then we ask the customer, we check for any bonding, which is on the gas and on the water. So the customer said that the gas is here, which you can see down there. This is an old uh, rewirable fuse consumer unit. Um, so we have to remove the fuses individually to get this cover off. So no matter if you have an old electric system or a new one, you can still install an electric charger? You'll still be able to install one, yeah, providing that all the tests come back okay. So one thing we want to make sure is that our PP is all fit for use. Yeah. So one of the things we do is we just Hold put some air in and make sure there's no holes in our gloves. It's actually fascinating because we get taught exactly the same for our racing series because mm. we race electric, so we have to do the same test every morning to make sure all our equipment are safe when we like plug the car to charge and check the car is not alive in the morning when we come in so this reminds me a bit of our race team of your race team maybe you can come be our mechanic that's it yeah <laughs> count me in yeah. <laughs> when we're doing the bonding on the water and the gas mm -hmm. we're testing the continuity of that one cable so we need to make this one cable basically mm -hmm. so to pop that into the side of there Oh, the other side. Into that bit. There we go. Okay. And I'll be crocodile those together. It's a crocodile off. That's it. <laughs> it's just like being back home. Oz is dial. So, can you remember? Uh, uh, Arlo. Was Arlo. It? That's yeah. it, yep. And, and then R200. That's it. And then the play. No, the bottom. The, no, the, the that one, one yeah. calibrate. Yeah. That's it. There you go. Yeah. So now that's zero in the whole of that lead. Okay. Right. And now we want to be to be the same, didn't we? Yeah. That's it. So if and then we press play to check. That's it. Right. So Molly and Kevin, we're going to show the customer the cable route and the location of the charger. Awesome. So we're looking at with the cable route. As it comes through the wall, we're going to be looking at running it nice and neatly along this line to keep the aesthetics of the property. Um, going to run through pat underneath uh, the drain, the drain pipe all the way around. As we come along this way, we're going to go underneath the doorstep like this. And whereabouts would you like the charger um, located to? Ken, yeah, I'd like it around here, um, just against this wall here. Okay. okay. Is there any reason for that? Yeah, just so the cable will reach around the other side of the charger for the, for the car. So that's okay. Brilliant. Yeah, we'll get that done for you. So what we're going to do, we're going to clip our cable, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to mark it off. So with every, between every three and 400 mil, what okay. we want to do is we want to make a dot with our marking tool, and then we're going to drill, plug, and clip. 
Now it's press in, yeah? Press in. That's it, mix up. So just double check. So what we want to do, we want to start off just lightly drilling it before the ha before the hammer drill. So yeah. with that trigger up, that's it. Do you need your um, glasses? You'll need your specs, your safety specs on, just in case there's any oh, yeah. <laughs> dust that what decides to... <laughs> That's it, keep going. That's it, that's fine, that's all right, don't worry. <laughs> Strange in a living room. <laughs> Made you jump then a little bit? Yeah, I was a bit concerned now. We've gone straight into some electrical lead in there. There you go. And now with that clip, we want to make sure it's in line with that one. So, as you can see, they wrap over like that. Yeah. So, if we're going that way, there we go. And with the impact driver, just lightly drill in, that's it. It doesn't matter if that's not straight for, for the start, you can maneuver that afterwards. When you get closer, that's it. Look at that. Nice, and, nice and neat. I think that's the best one yet. There we go. <laughs> and then we go again. Can racing drivers drill? Yes. We can. That's it, you got him? Yeah. Ah. So learning how to do all these installations, that's something that you can train with Eon in-house to do, right? Absolutely. So at Eon, there's a variety of different apprenticeships that go across the business. Uh, but Specifically with the Next and in uh, the Net Zero Academy, we're starting to train up our smart meter uh, engineers into doing all uh, Net Zero solutions. So that's in solar, air source heat pump, and obviously EV charging as well. So wow. it's really, really good. Um, the opportunity is not just internal uh, to the company, but it's also external as well. So it's important that we try and promote green jobs and we promote that, um, all the technologies that we're able to achieve and get people trained up. Mm. Do you see more and more engineers wanting to get into this side of the business and green jobs? And Absolutely. Everybody's, I think it comes from the passion within as an engineer mm. that you want to be able to do something not only for the climate but also for um, all the environment and things like that. Mm. So we're seeing a lot more people interested in that kind of uh, career. It's definitely moving in the right, in the right direction Fantastic. for all of our guys. They're definitely encouraged by it and obviously the more successful installs that we do and, and how our reputation talks for itself it uh, definitely brings more people to the sector, definitely in net zero as well. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure up the charger, okay. the location of it. So part of the EV code of practice is that we need to make sure that the socket part of the charger is, sits within 0.75 and 1.2 of the floor, okay? okay. So, if you wanna measure up. So what we're gonna do just from the floor, just down there, right. up against the wall. So the best thing to do is with the measure, we'll measure from the, we'll measure from the edge of there to the edge of this wall and find the centre point. Oh, look at that. Right. So we've got 101. 101, 50.5. You can get that exactly, I trust you. I'm trying my best. Just watch out for the spider. Yeah. Spot on. So what we'll do is we get the customer out. We just make sure that obviously, again, it goes back to that whole kind of thing and making sure that they're happy with where that is. Yeah. We'll mark it up and then we'll mark one of the fixings holes. Yeah then we'll straighten up and put the charger. What we want to make sure is that when we're installing this, the, the fixing points are actually on the brickwork, not mm. on the mortar line. Yeah, yeah. If you want to mark just in there on that little on that hole, just so we got that first point. There we go. So yeah. then that is our point that we'll drill and yeah. then we'll level out the charger and then mark the other holes. So like we did exactly the same principle yeah. when we're installing this cable. We start off with the drill, start off slowly, and then you want to switch it to hammer, yeah? Yeah. How does it feel watching someone yeah. with very limited experience <laughs> drill through your house? <laughs> Quite <serious. laughs> I'll do. Oh, there we go, look at that. Don't worry about that. Right, and now we'll put the charger on the wall. Is this a new screw or the one I used last time? That's a new one, I think. Okay, great. I got your back. I got your back. <laughs> oh, 
Nice. nice. Yeah. Solid. On the wall. That's on. Wall charger is on the wall. That's great progress. Now let's get. So the next step is what? Get. So what we want to do now is we want to just cut this bit off yeah. and then strip this cable back. Right. This piece of the cable is going to go up underneath into the charger unit through the gland just at the bottom. There we go. It's going to be then fed. You plug it all in in there and get the right. Yep. So what we're going to do then is then once this is through, we'll make our ends off and put our crimps on the end and then do some dead testing. Mm. Yep. And that's it. So we finished your install now. Well, and Kevin here, they've done a brilliant Hello. job in installing your install, <laughs> your EV charger. Oh, fantastic. Thanks very much. So there is a function of the Eon Home app, and this is where that's you can great. see per each, each time you use the car over the day, month and year. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. fantastic. All good. That's cool. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks very Happy much. Happy driving. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.